Epicardial fat is the visceral fat located between the visceral pericardium and the myocardium. Under physiological conditions, epicardial fat protects and supports the heart to perform its normal function. Increasing evidence points towards a link between larger amounts of epicardial fat and the development of cardiometabolic disorders. The contribution of epicardial fat to an unfavorable cardiometabolic risk profile might be due to its endocrine and paracrine activities, as well as its close proximity to the heart and coronary arteries. So far, comprehensive population-based studies regarding the association of epicardial fat volume with various cardiometabolic outcomes for women and men separately and the impact of obesity on cardiometabolic risk associated with epicardial fat volume are lacking. Therefore, we aim to study the associations of epicardial fat volume assessed by computed tomography with incident events of various cardiometabolic outcomes including type 2 diabetes, coronary heart disease and stroke for women and men separately from the large prospective population-based Rotterdam study. We further evaluated the impact of obesity on the association between epicardial fat volume and cardiometabolic diseases for women and men separately. Our large prospective population-based Rotterdam study with long-term follow-up for cardiometabolic outcomes shows that larger epicardial fat volume is independently associated with an increased risk for type 2 diabetes among women and for coronary heart disease among men. Moreover, our findings indicate that obesity is associated with greater impact of epicardial fat on the risk of cardiometabolic disorders, particularly among women. Primary care is the backbone of the Dutch healthcare system. For this reason, research based on primary care data is essential for a better healthcare in the Netherlands. The Department of General Practice of Erasmus Medical Center focuses mainly in two research lines, musculoskeletal disorders and common childhood disorders. Beside my interest in cardiometabolic outcomes in elderly, I am leading research projects focused on common disorders during childhood and adolescence. My work consists in a combination of conceiving new research ideas, supervising students and teaching research disciplines to the new generation of general practitioners in training. My research ideas are preferably designed as randomized clinical trials aiming to improve primary care guidelines for common childhood disorders including obesity and juvenile diabetes. Treatment options for modifying epicardial fat volume include lifestyle changes such as healthy diet and physical activity, bariatric surgery and using different drugs. Weight reduction in obese subjects may lead to a decrease in epicardial fat volume, while effects of different drugs on epicardial fat volume are still controversial. However, epicardial fat volume should be considered as a new cardiovascular therapeutic target.